As year-end approaches, it's critical for every organization to ensure that all the loose ends related to accounts payable are tied up and the books so the books can be closed correctly. Missing even one step could mean headaches during audit season, overtime, or worse, inaccurate financial reports. In this talk, we walk through the essential year-end task in accounts payable. There's a lot to be done. Make sure you stick around until the end when we discuss two tasks just about everybody forgets to do. All right, let's start off in October. Task number one, vendor file cleanup. You don't want to issue a 1099 incorrectly or worse twice to the same vendor. So if you haven't, don't have a regular process for cleaning up your vendor file and you haven't already done it, October should be the time when you clean up your master vendor file. Task number two, the IRS changes 1099 forms every single year. So you wanna make sure you get the latest forms and make any necessary programming changes to your uh, ERP as if you're going to print the 1099s yourself so that you'll be ready to file um, in January. And a side note, sending one or more of your members to a seminar or a webinar on 1099s is a good idea, something you should be doing every year because this is a task, a once a year task, and it's a good refresher um, even for your more experienced folks. And of course, new folks need to learn it. Okay, number three, and then we're going to stop talking about 1099s. If you're printing and mailing your 1099s, make sure you order your new forms because you can't use last year's forms forms as we've already indicated they change every year. Task number four, and at least for me when I worked in the corporate world and I had a manager staff, this was never fun, but it had to be done. And again, we're still in October. Ask your staff about vacations over the holidays. You want to plan now ahead of time. As I said, this is never pleasant. And in many organizations, some negotiations are required because too many people want to take off, um, you know, from Christmas to New Year's. Some organizations, however, require that everyone, there are no vacations between December 15th or 20th and the end of the year. And this is to ensure a smooth fiscal cl uh, close. But if you're not one of those, if that's not the situation where you work, you need to address this issue and address it early. Some organization rotate who gets the holidays off, um, splitting it with the day before Thanksgiving and, and after Thanksgiving. But whatever your processes are, handle it early. Okay, now we're gonna push into November. Um, you wanna make, uh, task number five, if you will, and you wanna put an extra push to get those discrepant invoices resolved in November and early December. Okay, you wanna you know, get as many of them off your plate, resolved, and so that your financials at year end are, are really accurate. Um, number six, pull out your notes from last year's close and review it to see if and where you need to make any changes in your process. Um, if needed, you may have to update your cutoff schedules. You'll look at your notes, you'll see where you had problems last year, and you'll see any changes that you need, need to make. If you're really lucky, and I doubt this is going to happen to many of you, but if it does happen to you, maybe you'll let us know in the comments below. Um, some of you will have gone so smoothly, I know from my lips to God's ears, that you'll be able to add an extra day or two somewhere, giving people maybe an extra day to submit invoices or whatever. But most of you that's probably not going to be the case. Okay, step number seven. You want to start notifying others of your special year-end cutoff schedules, um, which in many organizations, in fact most organizations, is earlier than normal uh, because of all the special reporting and you know the cleanups that are, are, are going to occur. This allows everyone to get any unpaid invoices and expense reports submitted in a timely manner so that they can be paid or reimbursed before year-end. And you you want to start to make it clear to people that you know if they show up December 27th with an, an, an invoice that's been sitting on their desk for three months you are not going to be able to pay it because you've already you know closed that portion of your transactions uh, step number eight you want to review all unpaid invoices and make sure they are paid uh, properly they're scheduled to be paid properly um, all invoices should be entered even if they're discrepant so that this will uh, give you a little help with the accruals try and catch up if 
you have backlogs, uh, many, many folks do uh, have backlogs with uh, invoices that need, need to be entered. Um, you want to get this backlog clear, cleared up. This will help you get more accurate uh, accruals and you want to do this on an ongoing basis, ideally in December, in, in November, but again, it, it's going to flow into uh, December. And speaking of December, um, and some of this, uh, depending upon how your processes will work, will go into also into um, early January. But uh, task number nine, if you do reviews and raises at year end in your organization, and I know many, many, many companies do, you want to try and get it done as early as possible in December. Um, this separates uh, any bad feelings that people may have, uh, you know, that they weren't, they weren't given a, a decent enough raise uh, from your year end, and hopefully they have time to um, let some of that anger dissipate or, or come, come to terms with it. And also, you've got enough going on at year end uh, that you don't need to add this to the mix. Now, I know in some cases this is impossible, um, but if you can, do it as early in December as you can. Task number 10, and this is in December. Send a last call communication to everybody on staff but with your cutout schedules and uh, requirements uh, to the entire company, reminding them no invoices or uh, expense reports will be processed after whatever your cutoff date. And give them a few days. So if your cutoff date is, let's say, December 24th, then send it to them by the 20th. They need to realize that this is a, you know, a hard cutoff, no special favors. Uh, task number 11, do your needed accruals related to accounts payable either in very late December or early January, but do it as soon as you can. Um, when you do it, it will just depend upon you know your whole work, your processes. Task number 12, if bank reconciliations are handled in accounts payable, they should be completed as early as possible in January. This is one of those tasks that will be made a lot easier if you've been doing daily bank recs, because then in theory on January 2nd, 3rd, or 4th, something like that, you should be able to download your bank statements and get your uh, reconciliations done very quickly, but you want to do it as quickly as possible. Um, step number 13. Once you're done, uh, you know, everybody's breathing a sigh of relief. You probably, you know, can't wait to put that behind you, but you want to review the, the closed process ideally with your staff because they can tell you of any problems they ran into and make notes for the next year what needs to be changed what could be improved etc this by the way might not happen till until february and then for uh, step number 14 if you will thank your staff you want to have, hopefully have thanked them throughout the process but assuming that you haven't you want to take this opportunity to say thank you maybe have a special luncheon um but whatever you want to do with this then year end in accounts payable is just one of those issues that companies sometimes ignore until disaster. Hit. We recently did a talk on some of the other issues that deserve more attention. And if you've got 10 minutes, now might be a good time to watch the, our talk right now using the link that has appeared on your YouTube screen and is in the description. Good luck.